Hey guys, it's Winston, and my presentation will be on how the oceans affect the moon's orbit. So, the moon exerts a gravitational pull on the Earth, and this creates a tidal bulge because it pulls the water as well. And so, the Earth rotates, dragging the water and this tidal bulge along with it, and therefore the tidal bulge slightly leads the moon. So we can look at this effect from a forces approach. So the sum of all forces acting upon the moon is equal to the mass times acceleration of the moon. And since the gravitational force of the tidal bulge and the Earth is always pointing towards the Earth, that means that the force is centripetal, it's always center-seeking. And therefore the acceleration that the moon experiences is also centripetal. And since the moon follows a roughly circular orbit, that means that this centripetal acceleration is constant. However, since the tidal bulge is leading the moon, it exerts a force that pushes the moon forward and increases its speed. You can see by this, by the angle right here. And since centripetal acceleration must be constant, that means that as the velocity increases, the radius, the distance between the Earth and the Moon, must also increase to maintain the, the constant proportionality of it. All right, this also makes sense from an energy and momentum standpoint. So, looking at just the Earth, the, when the Earth drags the tidal bulge along with it, it dissipates a lot of energy due to friction. And so that means that the Earth's rotation is actually slowing down. And if we look at it from an angular momentum standpoint, if we use, we know that angular momentum is the sum of the rotation plus the radius times the linear momentum. And therefore, since the Earth's rotation is slowing down, that means that the moon's rotation has to spin, has to increase, or the radius times the momentum of the moon has to increase. And so, since the moon cannot spin faster due to tidal locking, which is another concept that you'll learn about hopefully sometime, that means that the, the only thing that can increase is either the radius or the velocity. And in this case, both have to increase. And therefore, since the radius increases, that means that the moon is moving away from the Earth. Yeah.